EF Limited, an Indian company, is engaged in manufacturing electric components. 74% of shares of the company are held by EF Inc. Incorporated in US. So you have EF US, which owns 75% of EF Limited India. Now, because the shareholding is more than 26%, the two are associated enterprise and any transaction between them would be covered under transfer pricing. EF Limited has borrowed funds from EF Inc. at LIBOR plus 150 points. The LIBOR prevalent at the time of borrowing is 4% for US dollar. The borrowing allowed under the external commercial borrowing guidelines issued under Foreign Exchange Management Act are LIBOR plus 200 basis point. So basically what is happening here is that as per the regulations which are there, you are allowed to take interest or bearing loans at LIBOR plus 200 basis point. 200 basis point basically means 2%. So since the rate of LIBOR is 4%, so you are allowed to take loan at 4 plus 2 is equal to 6%. As long as you are taking the loan at 6%, then it will be within the arm's length price. In this particular case, you are told that the loan has actually been taken by LIBOR plus 150 basis point, which is 4 plus 1.5 is equal to 5.5%. Now, because the loan has been taken at a price which is less than what is allowed, it would be assumed that this price is meeting the arm's length criteria under the transfer pricing laws. What you need to be very, very conversant of the fact is that what is the method which we have applied to get into this? It's actually comparable uncontrolled price method. So this price which is there is actually a comparable. Why? Because under the law, you are told that this is the price at which you can obtain a loan. And we can compare the price which we have taken with the price which is prescribed by the law. Let's move on to part B of this question. M Limited, a US company, has subsidiary N Limited in India. M Limited sells computer monitors to N Limited for resale in India. So M sells it to N. M Limited also sells computer monitors to K Limited, another computer reseller. So they are also selling it to K. N is a related party because it's a subsidiary. K is an independent third party. It sells 50,000 computer monitors to N at 50, 11,000 per unit. The price fixed for K Limited is 10,000 per unit. So it is selling it at 11,000 here and it is selling here for 10,000, which means that the price which is charged from the related party is more. But are there any differential in terms of the contract prices which is there? Let's look at that. The warranty in case of sale of monitors by N Limited is handled by N Limited. So N Limited is actually bearing the cost of warranty. However, for sale of monitors by K Limited, M Limited is responsible for warranty for three months, which means I am giving him an advantage of three months warranty, which means what? That this price, when I need to compare it with this, should actually be less because this 10,000 includes the cost of three months warranty. Both N Limited and N Limited offer extended warranty at standard rate of 1,000 per annum. So if similar warranty was given by M Limited and N Limited, for 12 months, the price would have been 1,000. So how much will be the price for three months? It will be 250. Right? So if I have to actually compute the arm's length price of an independent party, what would that be? It will be the price at which I am selling it to them minus the cost of warranty. So ideally the arm's length price will be 9750. But what have I charged? I have charged 11,000. So what is the excess price I am charging from a related party? That is 11,000 minus 9,750 or 1,250. The number of computers I have sold is 50,000. So 50,000 into 1,250 is the amount of adjustment which will be done by N Limited in its book of account by disallowing the cost of monitor. 
Why would the cost be disallowed? For N limited, this is a purchase. In purchase, what they are doing is they are paying more to their related party by 1250 per computer for 50,000 computers. Therefore, the disallowance will be 50,000 times 1250. Right? And this will be basically 1, 2, 3, 4, that's for 50,000. This is for this 6, 2, 5. So the disallowance actually will be 6 crores 25 lakh rupees.